We are excited to welcome back our students for in-person learning as we transition to our hybrid learning model. As you get ready to head back to class, here are some things that students and families need to know. Daily health attestation form. Each student will be required to fill out a health attestation form each day they attend in-person learning. Each student will be provided a thermometer, a packet of attestation forms, and a lanyard to hold their daily attestation form. Parents or guardians need to fill out their student's daily health attestation form and check their temperature before arriving at school or boarding the bus. Students in 8th through 12th grade can fill out the forms themselves. And if parents are not available, older students can also fill out attestation forms for younger siblings. Questions on the form include, does your student have any symptoms that are not attributed to another condition, which include cough, fever, sore throat, shortness of breath, shaking, chills, headache, muscle or body aches, chest pain, pressure or tightness, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, unusual fatigue, new loss of taste or smell. Has anyone in your household been tested for COVID-19 and is currently waiting for test results? Has your student had any medication to reduce a fever before coming to school? Has your student been in close contact with anyone COVID-19 positive? Has your student tested positive for COVID-19 in the past 10 days? Within the past 14 days, has a public health or medical professional told you to self-monitor self-isolate or self-quarantine because of concerns of COVID-19? If you answer no to all of these questions, then you are ready to fill out the daily health attestation form. If a student has marked yes to any daily health attestation form questions, they cannot be on school property and must follow guidelines for return. If students ride the bus, bus drivers will check their daily health attestation form. If students walk to school or get dropped off, staff members will also check their daily health attestation form upon arrival. Elementary teachers will collect the daily attestation papers from each student and place them in a baggie with the date. Junior high and high school staff will collect daily attestations at the temperature check stations. All attestation forms will be kept for 14 days. The CARES rooms are spaces used to hold students that do not have a completed daily health attestation form, have not passed the screening process, or get sick throughout the day. Parents will be contacted if their student is in a CARES room and will need to come in and pick up their student. If a family cannot fill out the form before drop-off, staff will send the students to a CARES room holding area. The first time this occurs, parents will be called and the form will be filled out over the phone. After the first time this occurs, parents will need to come to school to fill out the attestation form. Each student's temperatures will be rechecked upon arrival at their designated entry point at each building. If they they do not pass, they will be referred to the nurse and held in a CARES room holding area. Each building is required to have a CARES room. Students may not enter the building without a mask. Students with a fever will be sent to the CARES room. Students with one or more Class A symptoms or at least two Class B symptoms or one Class B symptom for more than 24 hours will need to stay home. A lot of new things will be implemented as students and staff return to campus. One of those things is Waluk School District's new drop-off and pick-up areas. During drop-off and pick-up times, Boundary Avenue will be closed and only open for buses, staff, and student drivers. Staff and students will be supplied with a parking pass to indicate they are a staff member or a student. High school students will be directed to WHS student parking lot located in front of the high school building. Staff will be directed to each building's office and parking lot. Buses will follow the high school bus loop and stop near each school to drop off students. Elementary students will be dropped off in front of the technology building. Students will be directed to their school to one of several screening entrances. Parents or guardians who will be dropping off or picking up students will now enter the district from Riverview Avenue. They will use the old elementary bus loop between all three WSD elementaries and preschool for drop off and pick up. Parents or guardians will be guided to drop off or pick up students close to their school building. Students who are in Waluk Junior High or High School will be directed to their school to one of several screening entrances. Student temperatures will be taken at entry zones in all buildings. During pickup, all elementary families will be supplied with some sort of identification to indicate they are picking a student up. We ask that you please follow instructions from any crosswalkers and staff members during drop-off and pickup times. WSD families are encouraged to walk, bike, or drive their students to and from school. But if they need to ride the bus to school, 
there are some things that you will need to know. This recording is a model to show what hybrid learning might look like in Wallach School District. Students and bus drivers are required to wear their masks during all bus rides. Students must show the bus driver their completed daily health attestation screening form and be inserted into their lanyard. Each student will be provided a thermometer, a packet of attestation forms, and a lanyard to hold their daily attestation form. Students will also receive hand sanitizer and get their temperature checked for fever signs when boarding the bus. If students show signs of fever or answer yes to any of the questions on the daily health attestation screening form, they will not board the bus and parents will be contacted and follow guidelines for return. Students will have assigned bus seats. Students who are in the same family will be seated in the same seat. Students will be seated with social distance in mind. Students may be seated closer to each other depending on how many students are on a specific bus route. If social distancing cannot be maintained, the bus ride will be less than 15 minutes. Windows will be down to the first latch and the roof vent will be open for airflow. Buses will follow bus route and drop off students in designated bus loading unloading areas. Students will be directed to one of their school's several screening entrances. Student temperatures will be taken at the entry zone in each building. The bus interiors will be cleaned and disinfected frequently. Bus drivers have been trained and will follow daily cleaning procedures. Everyone who enters the Wallach School District will be required to wear a face covering. All students, staff, volunteers, or guests must wear face coverings at all times, excluding times when they are eating or drinking while in the building. Masks should fit snugly and cover both nose and mouth. Gators and bandanas will not be permitted per the Grant County Health District guidance. Wearing a mask is new to us, so there will be times that masks slip down or we might forget to pull them back up after eating or drinking. It is our collective responsibility to support each other to wear masks properly. Social distancing, hand washing, and water stations. All staff members and students will be required to wear appropriate facial coverings. Exceptions can be made for alternate facial coverings with a valid medical reason. Social distancing protocols will be in place to limit cross-exposure opportunities between people and cohort groups. We will all strive for six feet distancing at all times. Signage will be placed on the floor to support students to social distance. We are all in this together and will remind students to stay physically distanced. Desks or tables will remain six feet apart at all times in the classroom. Teachers will assign seats for student groups. All seating charts will be shared with the school nurse to assist in contact trace to determine where a student has been and any students they have been in close contact with. Frequent hand washing will be a dedicated focus throughout the day. Teachers and staff will help promote proper techniques and situations. Entrance doors will also provide hand sanitizer. To create a safe and healthy environment for staff and students, we will need to take a more collaborative approach to sanitize our classrooms. Teachers and staff will be supplied with spray bottles to prepare and disinfect classrooms and work situations during the day. Custodial staff will clean and disinfect nightly. All touch points in classrooms and student spaces will be disinfected between AM and PM cohorts and nightly. Because of health risks, all water fountains are closed except the bottle filling stations. The fountain feature of each water fountain will be turned off or blocked to prevent the spread of germs. Students will be encouraged to fill out water bottles before coming to school. Meals, backpacks, and uniforms. Students will be sent home with lunch and breakfast in grab and go bags. Meals will not be served at school. AM morning cohort group students are encouraged to eat breakfast before coming to class. PM afternoon cohort group students are encouraged to eat breakfast and lunch before coming to class. Grab and go breakfast and lunch bags will be provided to students in the following ways. Grab and go meals will be distributed at Madawa Elementary Cafeteria and several off-site locations. Grab and go meals will be delivered to classrooms AM and PM groups. Students will grab their meals as they exit the classroom or school. Students will not have to wear uniform during COVID, distance, or hybrid this year, but will need to wear school-appropriate clothing and follow the dress code guidelines. Students cannot share supplies. All students must have an individual pencil bag or pencil box for their supplies. 
School materials will be provided to students for distance or in-school learning. Extra materials will be ordered for each classroom so that teachers can maintain a supply of extra items needed. All student backpacks and coats need to be stored during the day on the students' chairs. Students will not use communal backpack hooks or lockers. Wallouk High School and Wallouk Junior High students will be allowed to have a backpack with them at all times. We will all strive for six-foot distancing at all times. Health guidelines will be followed and traffic in hallways will be minimized. There will be signage on the floor for the flow of traffic to support students in this. Please check our website and communication platform Parent Square for more information.